Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. In the last three days I was working, so that means that I can think a lot. And I started to think about Fishing Planet. Uh, so it's not new what I'm going to say to you guys, because this is something that I'm already saying, I think, for four years now or five years. I talk a lot with my club members about this problem, so... What is the problem of Fishing Planet? The problem of Fishing Planet is, and you can see that in the numbers already. So they release new areas. Uh, they uh, they got uh, nice new areas like the ocean map. But after two or three weeks, the players are gone again. So you can see that now on Steam 2. So three weeks ago, we had the release of the ocean map. We had 10,000 peak on Steam. On Sunday and today we are going to get probably six to seven thousand maximum. That means that 30 to 40 percent of the players is already gone after three weeks. And that's a pity because the developers work two years on this uh, new ocean map. There are two problems that I see uh, for this game. Uh, why players leave the game so fast? First of all, the base game, there is not a lot to do. If you are not playing competitions or tournaments, uh, yeah, what can you do in the game? Because there is one big problem in this game, and you guys can see it here. I write it here in my text file. So the first one is the thrill getting in a fish is lacking. That's a very big problem in this game. So you can get a unique, that's true. But if you got one unique, the second unique, the third unique, it's all the same. There is not really a thrill that you think... Oh, now I got a unique. It took me 10, 15 hours to get this fish. I am very happy. And that's what this game is lacking a lot. So uh, that's number one. And I'm going to give the solution to. And the solution is something that Killer Whale already said a couple of months ago or years ago. So they need to get an extra subspecie in the game. A rare uni or another name. It does not matter. Uh, but they need to get something above the unique. That's very important, because the unique is too common, so that's not that, that special, uh, but they need to introduce something else. I'm not sure why they didn't do it yet, because I'm not, I don't think it's that much work, uh, but that's something that they need to do. But they need to understand that they cannot make the rare unique common, so therefore I put it here, so make it super rare. So it needs to be super rare. So if you catch 1000 uniques in the game, you're probably going to catch, let's say, 10 rare uniques. That's how rare it needs to be. The next one, give it bait coins. And with giving it bait coins, I don't mean one bait coin, but let's say 50 bait coins. Because they are very rare. Or another price. That's what I said here. And then the last one is very important too. It's targetable, but not farmable. That's very important. So you need to know a little bit how you need to catch them. But you cannot farm them over and over again. That's very important. So that's already going to solve a problem uh, in, t in the trail getting a fish. So people are going to be very... You need to understand what I'm saying. So you're fishing in Michigan for the muskie. You're just fishing casual. And suddenly you, you hook something that you think, what the fuck? It fights harder than the unique muskie. And you got your rare unique muskie. After 60 hours of playing, you will be very happy. So that's the first thing. And then I'm going to the next point. You need to make a combination to it. Towards the second point, the leaderboards in this game. The leaderboards, there is no leaderboard. The leaderboards, they are a joke. They are set every week. It's not even a, a, real, a real leaderboard in my opinion. So what do you need to do with the leaderboard? So first of all, you need to make a real leaderboard that resets every three month, months. In combination with the new rare species, it will be a, a real leaderboard. They cannot introduce this at the moment with the uniques. Why is that? Because the problem with the uniques is maybe... Not a lot of people know that, but you need to understand that fish in this game got like a maximum weight. So let's say the pike got 1k uh, kilogram is max. So that means because, and this is the uni, so that means that 
if people are catching 1 million unique bikes, you all the leaderboard top players will have 1 kilogram. And that's a problem. So you got the leaderboard, the top 100 got 1 kilogram. And that's a very big problem. So you cannot introduce this with the unique system that we got at the moment. Because the uniques are not rare enough to get a decent leaderboard. So that's what I want to say. But that's not all. So if you got the rare unique species and you got a real read leaderboard that resets every three months, then you can work on the gameplay. So the first one what I would suggest is this. Make it a league system with points and I'm going to show you guys how it can work. So what do I mean? Uh, so yeah, I will do it in the game. That's easier that you guys can see it. After three months, the top scores get prizes or get uh, yeah prizes, possible the club gear. Because now at the moment, the club gear is uh, it's very hard to get. I know we are going to get a new uh, club system after the ocean map. They said that, that's true. Uh, but I think still, if you see that we were top uh, the fifth uh, club, and um, I cannot buy with my club points that I got uh, for fifth in the, in the, in the league, uh, I cannot buy any equipment. So there is still some room to get like club points or club gear in another format somewhere else. So it's possible that they can put it in the club system and they put it in the leaderboard system. So what do I mean with those point systems? It's very simple. So how can you do it? So I will show you guys it really quick in the game. So at the moment we got the leaderboard. So here you got the leaderboard for every species in the game. You got the leaderboard. So that's already good. So they don't need to do a lot about the leaderboard himself if they got the rare fish into place. But you can already see it here. So this is a fish with six digits. And you already can see that after three weeks, the top is almost, this was almost the same number. And this is a six digit uh, fish. So normally at some point, if they are fished a lot, and this is a monster fish can only be caught one time. So you guys can understand if we go just to the uniques, unique ones, that at some point those will be all the same numbers because there is a maximum. So what can you do? For example, you can do it. You need to do it for every fish pieces in the game. So I'm going now to, let's say, uh, Location. Let's get go to Mudwater. Uh, let's go to, to uh, let's go to the to the catfish. Yeah, I never use this. So, okay. So the catfish, the channel catfish. Is it alphabetic? Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there is no unique. Okay, let's take them all. So here you can see it. With, with the numbers that are almost the same. Do you guys see it? And this resets every week. So therefore you cannot do this system. At the moment without the rare ones. So if you stay this up three months. This will be all six kilogram. The entire. So what can you do? Very simple. So for every fish pieces in the game. After three months. For example. This first guy. He get 20 points. This first guy. Uh, the second guy. Get 15 points. And so on and so on. And then you just put all the points together for all the fish pieces. And the guy with the most points is getting the first prize in the tournament. Not the tournament league, but the leaderboard league. And that's how it works. So what does that mean? Uh, you're creating gameplay because players need to go back to the, to the lower level areas. You got something to do because there are prizes. There is a competition format that is coming. And that's what I think is a very good idea. So it's very simple. I'm not sure it, that it's hard to implement. But that's something that I think is going to attract a lot more players. I'm going to play that. If they do this, I will play this game a lot more. Because I want to get a rare musky, let's say. I want to get, I, I go back to Spotted Bus, even in Lone Star, to get the, 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 the rare one over there. Because I want to win the tournament competition, the three monthly league tournament competition. So that was the first part. Now I'm going to talk about the second part. 
Okay, guys, so the second part. So, number two. So many areas, but you never come back to it. Nostalgic talking. So I'm going to talk now nostalgic. So you guys still remember when we started this game for the old timers. You went to Emerald Lake. That was like, whoa, this is a good area. Then you went to Nethering. Nethering, beautiful area. Uh, fishing for the crappy and all that stuff. Then Florida, Falcon Lake. They were all top areas. Michigan, uh, Kanik. All top areas. I think that the first areas in North America are still uh, immersive-wise the best ones that they got in the game. But the problem is that nobody never goes back. Why would you go back? Why would, if there is no competition or a tournament, why would you go back? And that's for me a very big problem. So Fishing Planet is sitting there with a tremendous amount of, of, of areas and gameplay that is never used again. So it's only for leveling. So I'm going to give the solution. So first of all, this is very important. So I was thinking, make new packs on old areas that require higher level and get bigger fish in it. So what does that mean? For example, mud water. You got three packs. That's a river. Make a fourth pack that you need to be level 25 to enter it. And make the catfish over there bigger. So you can, we just saw the channel catfish is 6 kg. You can make in pack number 4 the catfish 10 kg. So because you need to get the big fisher too, otherwise why would you ever go over there? I don't think that you need to get new species in the new pack. But just get bigger species. Or let's let's say that you can get in pack number four unique large mount bass. There is no large mount bass unique in mud water, but in pack four you can get it. So there are a lot of opportunities what you can do there. So you need to understand what I'm saying. So your leveling now will level always the same. That is Lone Star, then we go to Emerald, then we go to Falcon, uh, Colorado. But we skip some parts, we skip some fish. You never come back. So you need to understand, your level 20 or 25, you think by yourself, whoa, I'm going to get a very big channel catfish in mud water on pack number 4. That's something that they can do. They can turn it around too. They can make packs on higher areas with smaller fish. For example, you need to understand now, let's say you are a starting player. I was a starting player 10 years ago and I saw people in California. California was those days, I think, level 18. And I was thinking, I was watching YouTube videos and I was thinking, whoa, they are catching very big fish, this and that. But I didn't saw the area because I couldn't enter it. So you can do just the same. You need to understand... Like, let's say now that you make a pack on the Japan lake where people can fish for mackerel that are level 1. Those guys are going to see the ocean and think, what the fuck, I'm going to buy the DLC. Or I'm going to level up that I can go and get big fish. So it's a little bit advertising, but people, because people can see it and people already can taste a little bit the ocean map. If you start today, this game... <laughs> and you just go with premium, it takes you weeks and weeks until you will see the ocean map. By then, most of the players are gone again. So that's my idea how you can do it. And for the other guys, you need to, you need to understand how many possibilities you can open. Think by yourself that you were fishing on Falcon Lake, trout. Everybody likes trout, brown trout. But what was the problem? No unique brown trout. Let's say they make a new pack on Falcon Lake, level 50. You get 15 kilogram unique brown trout over there. I'm back over there, you know. And if they introduce a rare unique, I will go over there again. Even if I'm level 90. So, and why is that good too? Because that does not take one, two years to make. They already got so many area, it's so much potential that they don't use. And that's for me, it's a pity because it's such a beautiful area. It's the same for nethering. You can put catfish over there that are 40 kilograms. Make a pack that is level 60, that you can only enter at level 60. Just make it. Now they just need to make always new areas. All the gear need to come with areas. They need to make DLCs for those areas. And it takes a lot more time than just make extra packs with a higher level. 
So, but there is one problem, of course. I thought about the problem too. So the problem, it's very hard to implement with the money making system in the game. Not sure how to approach it with the DLC system. So that's a problem. Because what are you going to create? That is the fishing planet money making works like this. They always get paid after they make something. So therefore they always need to go higher level and level and level. So the problem is that they sell DLCs that people can enter a certain area, that they get certain equipment for that area, get a bond pass, and that's people are paying for that. But how, how are you going to do it for this? Because you need to understand if you make this level 16 Falcon, I can enter it and I don't need to pay anything. So the problem is I'm not sure how long they need to work on it. Of course, the lower players can maybe buy a DLC, but I think that will be problematic uh, on the money system that they got at the moment. Uh, so I don't know how they can solve it. Uh, but because you need to understand they cannot make for every extra peg on an old area a new DLC with new gear. With, that's not possible. Because the balance is gone on that moment. So the problem is, if they are going to make, let's say, an extra rot at level 60 uh, for a certain area, it's possible that the balance is totally gone. And that's problematic. Uh, so I'm not sure how you can solve that problem. But I can only give ideas. And that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope one day that we can do this. Uh, I think a lot of players, more players are Koki are going to keep playing the game. I want to thank you guys for watching. You can say in comments what you think. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.